All right, here we go, part two of my Scorpion ExoWare road racing suit. Like I said, I don't even know what the name of this is going to be yet. You know, I'm sure they'll have some type of name for it, but let's go ahead and let's detail this a little bit. Have a look at the back of the suit. You can see we've got some, some overlays here. Big pieces of leather. Safety stitched everywhere, of course. You can see the accordion panel there. Top of the race hump. Got a nice Scorpion logo here. They carried the the quilting all the way across. You can see that the expansion panel here for the shoulders, it is perforated. That's a nice touch. That's a hot zone. It helps to move the heat energy out. We have a lot of perforation here under the arm. Once again, hot zone moves the heat energy out. That's nice. Very cool embroidery work down the center of the back in the race hump. I like that quite a bit. Love the way it looks. Once again, huge panels of leather here. Let's take it apart and give you a look from the inside out at the armor. Like I said, as I understand it, if in fact this comes to market, they anticipate the production suit looking just like this one. It has a removable liner. The sleeves on this model that I have here are zipped in. We'll go ahead and undo those zippers. Mirror image on the other side, of course. When they do something like this, what they're going to do is it's a zipper without a zipper pull. They take basically the little handle is not on the zipper, so you kind of have to just grab it with your finger and slide it. They do that so the zipper pull is not getting in the way, essentially, when you're riding because it would just take up more space. Inside the upper torso of the suit uses a full circumference zipper, and it's, it's going to be the same deal here. There is no zipper pull on it. Just kind of go ahead and with your, your finger just push up on it all the way around. I don't know if, if this particular feature here, the no zipper pull on a liner, is something that will stay with it into production or not. Typically, you will see a zipper pull for a liner on the inside of the suit. Go ahead and get that undone. And pull the sleeves through. And now we'll go down to the legs. And this is a good opportunity, too, to give you a look at the over-the-boot design that they've used. You can see here that there is a, a panel that's sewn up inside the suit that's made from stretch material. It's either going to be Kepratec or, um, or perhaps Cordura. I believe this is Kepratec here from the looks of the back of it. Um, you zip this up using the zipper right here. Okay, put your boot on, this goes inside the boot, and then you zip down the leather over that. So basically you have two layers of protection here. It's, it's certainly very safe. The way it all came together, I had on TCX boots for the video that I did, the first part of the video. They fit underneath the suit easy. The pair of boots that I rode in when I used the suit were Alpine Star Super Tech R boots, and they also fit underneath the suit. No worries, no restriction, no binding. Remove the liner from the bottom of the legs. You're going to undo a couple of Velcro patches. It's going to be a mirror image on the other side. And now we should be ready to pull the legs of the liner through. The way the suit is designed, the armor is actually held in pockets that are in the liner for the suit kind of a look at the liner removed right here. You'll also note they used a patch of quick wick moisture wicking material down the back of the suit and that's to help move the moisture away from your body. There is also sewn into the liner a little storage pocket, keys, documents, whatever you may need to do there. Let's have a look at the armor they're using. Undo the velcro pocket there, the closure. Here is our shoulder armor right here. And this is the Sostec brand armor. Energy absorbing, conforms to your body. This is great stuff. This is the same stuff we put in our Celtic suit and I think this is actually the same size piece armor that we put in there. You can see it offers a tremendous amount of coverage for the shoulder. Let's have a look at the elbow and forearm piece. We're going to reach down here in our, in our liner, 
find our Velcro pocket, open it up, and we'll slide it out. Out it comes. Sostec CE certified. Like I said, this is good stuff. We had great success with this in our Celtic suit. That's what it looks like on my elbow and forearm. Let's go ahead and do the same for the knee. Got a little Velcro pocket here. Undo that, and here is our knee and shin piece. Same Sostec CE certified. Great stuff for sure. The quality of the liner looks to be everything that it should. When I first received the suit, the thing that struck me the most was the overall quality, the stitching, the assembly of it, and of the materials used. You know, I think looking at this, to me it should retail for more than, than $900. I think at $900, it, it, if it comes to market at that price, I think it offers a tremendous value. You know, I think you'd have to look at something over $1,000 to find something that brings the same kind of value that the Scorpion one-piece suit will. They've done a great job. The fit was fantastic. If this, if this aesthetically appeals to you and it's in your price range, I would definitely recommend choosing the Scorpion road race suit. So let's all keep our fingers crossed and hope this shows up in the spring of 2010. I'm Brian Van from SportBikeTrackGear.com.